The first thing we'll do is we'll create a new application. I'm going to be using React, but you can use Vue, Angular, Gatsby, or your framework of choice. After we've created the new application, we'll go to GitHub and create a new repository to hold the application. After we've created the GitHub project, we'll copy the location of the GitHub repo, go back to the command line, and initialize a new Git repository. Next, we'll add and commit the files, then we'll push the code to GitHub. Now that the project's ready, we'll go to the AWS console and search for AWS Amplify. In the Amplify console, click Connect App. Here, choose GitHub as the repository and then choose Continue. Next, we can choose the repository and the branch that we'd like to start with. Now we'll accept the default build settings and click Next. After the project's been deployed, we should be able to click the URL to test it out. To enable previews, we'll click on the Previews link in the left-hand menu, then choose Enable Previews. Here, we'll install the GitHub app. Back in the Amplify console, toggle the master branch and then click Manage. Here, you can enable pull request previews and then click Confirm. To test this out, open the project in your local text editor. Here, we'll make a change and then save the file. Back at the command line, we'll create a new branch, add, commit the files, and then push the new branch up to GitHub. Back in GitHub, we can now create a new pull request. Back in the Amplify console, we should now be able to click on Previews and see a list of all the pull requests. When we preview the pull request, we'll see that the preview URL is prepended with the GitHub branch. 